hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to teach you how to cut a maxi shirt so sit back and enjoy and don't go anywhere i will be right back so here i have the front piece and the back piece so the front piece is wider than the back piece because of the style we are going to make so the paper the pattern paper is folded in two places as you can see i'm opening it so i folded it like this because i'm going to use the pattern as the as the fabric so that's it here i am going to come in by two inches on the front because the front is the wider pa uh, pattern so i came in by two inches on the front the two inches is going to be my button allowance and i'm going to write it down so next i am going to cut the center of the front piece i'm going to cut it open so i am going to place my back piece on my front piece like this and once i'm done i'm going to start putting the adding the points so the first point i'm going to add here is my shoulder plus my arm measurement so i am going to use five inches as my shoulder divide by two and my arm and five inches as my arm measurement divide by two so the arm is also called the sleeve length that is the sleeve length so let's go So next thing I'm going to do is to draw, come down by one inch from my shoulder point. That is going to be my shoulder slope. So this is the point, the one inch point. That is my shoulder slope point. So I'm going to go to my neck opening and I will mark 2.5 inches for the wideness of the neck. So I'm going to open the neck by 2.5 inches and I'm going to connect the point to the shoulder slope point like this so make my making the sleeve curve i am going to, i got 10 inches divide by 2 is 5 so i'm going to place the 5 inches and mark it down so next thing i'm going to do right now is to come in by 2 inches from the sleeve curve so i'm going to connect everything together like you, you are seeing there and from the sleeve point i am going to go down by five inches again according to the paper not according to my measurement but according to, to the paper but if it's on your own measurement for your own measurement you come down at the top of your hip that is where the curve will start from because it's a top gown it's not just a top or a, just a top gown so uh you take a measurement from the, your armhole to the top of your hip whatever you got you're going to place it there so that's the actual measurement but for my paper i am going to use five inches as well so that you can see what i'm doing so i'm going to place it there and i'll connect it <music> For the back 
I came down by 1 inch and I will connect it to the white 2.5 inches width. So after cutting it out, I am going to separate the back from the front. So this is the back and this is how it looks like. So I am going to separate it from the front so that we can cut the front neck um, opening. And for the front width, we use 2.5 inches, same as the back. So I'm going to point it down. And for the depth, I'm going to use 3 inches for the neck depth of the front. Next, I'm going to connect the the two uh, points together. So after connecting it, I will cut it out. So next, I'm going to separate the two sides of the front piece and fold in for the button allowance. So I folded by one inch at each side of the button allowance so this is how it looks like and I'm going to join them together so you can see how it looks like can you see it's very simple so after joining both the front and the back piece together I am going to measure the round neck so I can be able to cut out the neck the color of the neck so I'm going to take the round neck measurement so whatever I got from the round neck measurement i am going to put it down here for me i'm going to use 10 as the round neck measurement so i have already marked the length so i'm going to mark now the wideness of the neck and i'm going to use 1.5 inches as the wideness of the neck so the half inch is for the seam allowance while the one inch is for the uh, wideness that is the width so after that i am going to come up by two and a half inches and i'll connect them on both sides then i am going to come in by one inch from there i'm going in by one inch and i will do the same on the other side so just like that we've gotten our color if you if you like you can give it any shape you want and cut it out so that's the way to cut your color so here is the final look here is how it looks like as, as you can see this is how i cut the color as for the band the sleeve band this is the sleeve band i used four inches and folded by two inches for the sleeve band that is the point where i'm pointing out is the sleeve band so that is it and you add the color join everything together and this is what you are going to get at the end of the day the top is very beautiful it is a very classy top you can rock to any occasion at any time anywhere very comfortable and classy so guys i hope you learned something from this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up like share and comment on my videos and don't forget that i love you bye